Welcome to the Secrets Women Keep podcast. I am your secret keeper and confidant, Lauren White. I'm a qualified counsellor and sexologist, madam of a secret society, author of permission, and a witty, highly intuitive lounge room dancing introvert. I help you as an exceptional woman in entrepreneurship to see, love, and trust all the parts of yourself, especially the unseen. Let's pull back the curtain, light the candelabra, and remove the mask. These are the secrets women keep. Hello, and welcome to the secrets women keep. You know who I am. I'm Lauren White. I am your host and confidant, and today I am aching to talk to you about the secrets of releasing perfection. Perfection. First thing I want to say about perfection is it's systemic. It is problematic. It is limiting. It is constricting. It will sap you of what it is that you really need, want, and desire in your life. It will sap your essence of that. It's an issue. It is something that I would love to see more women move through. And I believe the first way that we do that is by reconceptualizing perfection as a mask. I call it the mask of perfection. What the mask of perfection means is that you put it on or you step into this role of perfection or what you perfect, what you think perfection is. And you do that because the driving belief is that you feel like you're not enough. You think you're not enough. You believe you're not enough, that there's an invisible bar out there that you need to reach. And you do your best to reach that invisible bar of approval, of acceptance by putting on that mask of perfection. The mask of perfection does not mean that you think that you're perfect. That's not what I'm saying here. The belief is that the underlying belief is that I'm so imperfect and I could never be accepted in my perceived imperfections that I'm going to put on a mask that I have all my shit together and that everything is just so and everything makes sense. And I proceed through life through the, through the steps that have been laid out before me and I do everything right. I do everything flawlessly. I do everything to the best of my ability. It's a noble vision that you have for yourself and your life when you put on that mask of perfection, but there's always a but. It is really costing you. And it's really costing you because if the mask of perfection worked, you wouldn't have to wear it. (laughs) You would never have to put that mask on. You would just be perfect all the time. You would just authentically be perfect and you wouldn't have to put it on and take it off and put it on and take it off. It's problematic because it's holding you back from all the things you really want. Another one of those incredible paradoxes in life is that you wear it because you think it will help you attain, it will help you grasp the feelings and sensations and identities that you want, that you deeply desire. You never really get there though, do you? It really begs the question, has the mask of perfection ever satisfied me? Has the mask of perfection ever delivered on its promise? For me, the mask of perfection has never delivered on its promises because it lies. It is a known liar. And you don't need that in your life. You don't, you especially don't need that in your life when truth is one of your core values when truth is something that you're seeking for yourself and you're desiring that others display to you. So you've got to remove that mask of perfection. You've got to release that mask. You've got to let it dissolve. 
before we talk about the how, I want to make sure that you're clear on some of the ways that this mask is holding you back. The first way that it's holding you back is that it's keeping you disconnected from your truth and what's real. The mask of perfection lies because it says to you that this is what you should strive for, that this is real, that this is what your reality could be. But none of it's real. It's all done in a, and it's all orchestrated in a way that isn't real. Every action you take striving for perfection is constricting and it's prefabricated and it's prearranged. So there's no flow. That's why life doesn't flow when you're in that mask of perfection because you're spending so much time in your head trying to strategize how things will look to other people, how, um, how like neat everything can be, how tight everything can be. And the truth is about life is life is messy. Life waxes and wanes. What I don't like about perfection is it thinks that life is a straight line and that life is linear and that when you do one thing, you should get from point A to point B straight away. And it's a trap. So it's holding you, that mask is holding you back from your truth. And we don't want that. The second thing that mask is doing is it's keeping you anxious and stressed. It's keeping you up in your busy mind going, how can I do this better? How can this look better to other people? How can this sound better? What is it that they want to see? What is it that will like get me closer to that goal or that accomplishment so that this other thing happens? You are constantly in quasi survival mode, always looking forward, 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 forward. So your body isn't in the present, your soul isn't in the present, your essence is, God knows where your actual essence is, it's locked deep down inside because there's no playfulness or fun or, you know, little sprinkles of spontaneity or a bit of messiness. It's all so, like, fabricated. It's like Ikea furniture, like there's a, there's a box with all the pieces in it and you just put everything together and you go, right, that's just so next one. That's not real. And it's keeping you stressed because you're constantly in doing mode and denying your true feelings, denying the whispers of your heart, ah, denying some of the sensations that life has to offer when you pause and you look around. And you just drink things in rather than getting caught up in the next thing. So your nervous system wants to remove the mask of perfection because it's wearing it out. That mask of perfection also constantly has you feeling not enough. You're always falling short. The bar always goes higher. You're never fulfilled. You're never satisfied. You, you're never tapping into those things that you really, really want to feel. Not living your life and feeling not enough is such a waste of all your beautiful libidinous energy. It's a waste of your vitality. Feeling not enough, the twist about feeling not enough, I'll give you a little little tip while we're in here talking about the ways that perfection holds you back, is that when you start to step into your more and what feels extra, And what feels excessive, when you start to step into that, you'll stop feeling not enough. Oh, I love that one. That's my truth. I own my more and then I stop feeling not enough because I start feeling full. And perfection doesn't allow you to feel full. It keeps you constantly starved and hungry. It's a hungry ghost that just circles around you and saps you of everything. (sighs) And it's really tiring as an outsider to witness someone in the mask of perfection. It's like, when are you going to pause? When are you going to get real? When are you going to finally believe that you're that you're enough? We all think that you're enough. Anyone who deeply loves you and respects you already thinks that you're enough, believes that. And it's like, we're out here cheerleading for you. 
but you've got to believe it for yourself. The fourth way that the mask of perfection holds you back is it keeps you suspended in doubt, suspended like you're on this wire high above, you know, high above in the skyscrapers, in the clouds, walking between two buildings on this really, really thin wire and going, am I going to make it across? You're constantly in doubt of yourself. When you're in doubt, you're not trusting. You cannot be in doubt and trust at the same time. So if things aren't flowing for you and the mask of perfection feels firmly fitted onto your face, onto your body, onto your identity, and you want to trust, you need to get out of doubt because they're just going to, you're never going to get to the trust piece, which feels incredible, which is one of the feelings that you want to feel when you wear the mask of perfection. When I do this and I get this proof, then I'll know I can trust. No, no. Trust is a full body sensation and it steps in when you've got no proof. That's what trust is. And wearing the mask of perfection will make you think that when you get all your evidence stacked up, that will be a proof you can trust. So your doubt, you being suspended in doubt, is keeping you anxious, it's keeping your body in contraction, and it's not allowing anything to flow. And this is the other thing, it's not allowing what you want to come to you because you're doubting whether it will ever happen. The fifth way that the mask of perfection is holding you back is it never lets you feel satisfied so you can pause and rest. And what happens in the rest, I know that women who wear the mask of perfection resist it like nothing else. When you rest, the things that you want come through, the ideas come through, the expression comes through, the rejuvenation comes through, the radiance comes through. You stop treating yourself and your body like a machine. You start being and becoming the woman that you want to be. Satisfaction is there for the taking. All you need to do is pause and recognize when it comes to visit. It's there and like it, it's there and it might feel fleeting, but it's going to flee again if you immediately put your attention back on what else needs to be done or how you're falling short or how you're not enough. It's bullshit. It's a lie. All of it is there for you. Pause and rest and everything that you want to feel will start to come through because your body will get the message, oh, I can be trusted again. We're on a pathway back to trust. I can speak to her again. I can give her the messages that she's aching to receive. Can't happen when you're in constant doing mode. It just can't. You're wearing yourself down. You're dimming your light. You're not radiating out what you want to radiate out and you're not magnetizing and pulling in what it is that you want to magnetize and pull in. So rest is radical. Pausing is pretty defiant in some ways, but there are some key actions that you can take in order to reduce that cost that that mask is having on you. The mask of perfection will say things to you like, Just one more thing. Just keep going. Just a bit more. When this happens, then. When I do this, then I'll show them. I'll be loved. I'll be accepted. The mask of perfection also says, when I receive, when I get, wouldn't use the word receive. It would say, when I get this external accolade, this acknowledgement, this accomplishment, then my drive for perfection will go away. Then I'll rest. Then the mask will come off. Uh uh-uh. uh. None of those things are true. Just one more thing. Just keep going. Da, 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 da. There's value in those things. I'm not saying that they're all bad. They are problematic and they inhibit your growth when you are so attached to them that you have no alternate ways of moving through the world. They're problematic when they discount your very real and present needs to rest and recuperate and to press a reset button. (sighs) 
So those are the red, those are your red flags. The mask of perfection is really, you know, tightly secured onto your face. We're not going to leave it there though. Just wanted to make sure that you really know what that mask of perfection is before I delve into three antidotes for you. In order to release the mask of perfection, these are my secrets. The first thing that is required of you is that you need to own your individuality. The mask of perfection is designed to fit in. And remember, fitting in and belonging are not the same things. Fitting in is like, oh, there's all these pieces of a puzzle and regardless how I feel about all the other pieces, I'm just going to morph myself to be that final piece that fits in. No, that is not your individuality speaking. When you are, when you have the courage, when you're brazen enough to step into your individuality, you, oh, <laughs> that word release is really powerful. You release so much dogma, so many shoulds, so many preconceived notions of what you should be and how you should be seen and how you should morph yourself. You are an individual. You are one in eight billion. And making yourself distinct enough to be an individual is a very rebellious act that suffocates that mask of perfection. It doesn't, it doesn't know what to do. So I really want you to think about how can you start being more of an individual? in your expression, in your preferences, in how you move, in what you wear, in every sense of the word, in every facet of your life. Where can you stop going? Oh, in this moment, um, I'll do what looks perfect or what other people will, will perceive to be perfect and say, in this moment, what can I do that's going to feel good? What can I do that's going to honor me and the exact state I'm in right now? Ownership is everything and it will boost your energy in a way that perfection can never boost and turbocharge your energy. The second antidote required to help you release that mask of perfection is to anchor into your current reality. Perfection is very ever forward. And yeah, that's necessary sometimes. It's necessary to look forward, to think of your future self and to put things in place for your future self that's really going to reap the the rewards of the actions that you take today. There's a lot of gold around you in this moment that your perfectionism can't see and it can't feel and it can't access. When you anchor into your current reality, you are instantly revitalized by all of the magic that is around you that you just can't see when your neck is jutting out and your eyeballs are only looking straight ahead. It's the difference between doing things that way in life and giving yourself neck and shoulder pains in the process and pausing, putting your shoulders down and back, down and back, and looking all around you, and stepping back into wonder, and realizing that there's so much out there that's bigger than you, and that nature is so perfectly imperfect, and other people are so perfectly imperfect, and that that adds color and texture to our life, to our reality. You need to be in the now. And you, I know you're a human. You won't always be in the now, but you need to at least be like, hey, I've done pretty fucking good. I have survived every day until this point. Where I'm at is amazing. And me five years ago, me 10 years ago, me 15 years ago plus would have been so stoked with this. You've, if you've worn the mask of perfection, you've probably made some dreams happen. And pausing in this moment to take in your current reality, and to see whether it lines up with the bigger vision is an important step to make sure that what you're doing and the action that you're taking is really still aligned with you. 
because your goals might be different when you take off the mask of perfection. In fact, I'm pretty sure they will be. What drives you will be different. What you want to feel will be different. What you're willing to own up to feel will be different. So anchor into the now. Breathe, pause, look around you. Perfection doesn't like that. So give it a little kick up the ass and say, you can fuck off just for a moment. (laughs) You can get playful with it, by the way. It doesn't all have to be hard and serious. The last antidote required for you to release that mask is acceptance. Accept yourself. Accept yourself as you are right now. Every cell of you, every part of you, every hair on your head, accept. This is your life. This is your body. This is your lifetime. This is what you have. This is what you stand for. Really, really come into a state of acceptance because perfection and the mask of perfection is always running from acceptance. It's always doing the complete opposite of acceptance. It's like, I can't accept this because it's not enough. So I'm going to move to the next thing and then I'll feel acceptance, belonging, all the things I mentioned earlier. Again, it's a real, it sounds simple, but the simple things perfection doesn't like. Perfection wants complexity. It wants things to be way harder than they are because then it's got a challenge and then it doesn't have to face up to everything it's shit scared about. Accepting who you are right now is an incredibly powerful action. You can't be anyone else right now. You can't step into someone else's body or life. So own it, rock it, make the most of what you have rather than being in the not enough and focusing on what's what's not enough. Drop the comparisonitis. Accept what is and dream bigger. Really, really powerful. All those three antidotes are really about being into being in the present, owning what is right now, rather than ruminating on the past or projecting into the future. That's now is where your power is. And that's a big rebuttal to perfection. Ah. And if all else fails, just get out your journal and write in big, fat fucking letters, fuck perfection. (laughs) Seriously, fuck it. What has it ever given you? What has it ever given you? Uh, It just, it hasn't delivered on its promises for me. And I want that message to get out there for other women. Yeah, be expressive, shift, change, evolve, change your mind. Yeah, do all those things that feel good. Now, I've got something for you to help you release the mask of perfection. It's time limited. It is about dancing and moving and being in your body. And it is the express yourself experience. I believe deep down in my loins that one of the big antidotes to releasing perfection is by coming into your body in a very present, very real, very intuitive way. Dance has always been a part of my medicine and it shocks me how many women message me and say that they don't dance. And that, or that they can't dance or that they won't let themselves dance. When you step into your body's free reign movement, the mask of perfection cannot exist. It withers away. It's like I cannot still be on firmly fixed when she is in her fullest expression, when she is experiencing herself and all of her sensations and all of what her body wants to do in the present moment. So you, me, and a group of women dancing for 10 days. Oh, so good. Every day we're going to dance and release the different masks that are holding you back. And I am beyond excited. There is so much medicine in this. And I want you to say yes. 
I want you to start to dance and move and really give the middle finger to perfection. Yeah. Yes. (laughs) There'll be lots of yeses. Okay. I can't wait to see you, all of you, in the Express Yourself experience. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be magic. It's going to be magical. And I have a feeling that we are going to be stomping on a lot of masks of perfection collectively. How powerful is that going to be? So for more details, go to the show notes in this episode, go to my site and sign up right now so that we can get you stepping into your fullest expression, the real you, not the perfect you. Because when you're the perfect you, I can't feel you, I can't hear you, I can't see you and I can't understand you. We can't connect. Remove that mask and we'll all start to connect and we'll all start to feel and remember who the fuck we are. (laughs) 